Hey there, Average Chaos Cigar Channel. This is William. I've been managed tonight by my asinine older brother. <laughs> Y'all cannot see that, but I'm giving the bird as hard as I can. <laughs> so, we are going to review tonight a topic that in the cigar world has been criticized, de de controversial, degraded in some perspectives. Um, I don't care because it's just usually me by myself smoking cigars. It is waterproof storage containers for cigars. You maybe use them as Tupperware. You maybe use them as Otterbot storage containers, Pelican storage containers. There's all kinds of storage containers. I'm not judging you for what you're going to use. I decided to use these because my humidors would not correctly hold the moisture. And I had no other way to store my cigars, so I had to come up with something and I had one of these laying around the house anyway, so I thought I'd try it out, and it worked very well. I bought, I think, five of these now, maybe. So, I use this one every day to store cigars. It's got a nice latch. This came from Walmart originally. It's got a gasket you can see here. That gray thing's a gasket. It seals up very tight. Holds my cigars at whatever the humidity is in this Bavita pack, which I believe is 69%. You can get them to have a completely removable lid like this one. Got a nice thick gasket there, you can see. It seals on very tight. You actually have to smunch it in there. You can hear the, the air going out. It latches on both sides. And then I've got this big one that I got for like $10 at Walmart. It's got two latches that hold it shut and a hinge lid. This one's a little bit colored, so it might maybe keep some of the light out. I don't know. I haven't done any tests to determine that yet. I got my little hygrometer in there and some flavored cigars by themselves. So I like using these. I've got a much bigger one that's like two foot by one foot by a foot and a half deep maybe that I use to store all my main cigars that I just want to age for a while. It's got a 72% Bavita pack in it and it's doing pretty well so far. So um, some people also use ammo cans. I'm going to turn it over to my brother at this point so he can talk about ammo cans. So even an average guy's cigar channel. Um, Going along with the theme on this video, we're going all, going over alternate storage containers. Uh, another one you may be able to look into, depending on where you're at in the world. I know this ain't a thing all over the world. In the American market, we have ammunition cans. They come in different sizes. They may be metal, they may be plastic. Metal seems to work better. Plastic ones, a little weird. Um, Again, what you got to look for, this one's actually been converted to be a humidor and is cedar lined. Very well done. Uh, originally held La Finca cigars. But what you got to look for on all of these is make sure it's got a really good gasket. Now you can actually buy these gaskets um, on the market if you got a bad one or you can just get another ammo can. Again, they come in differing sizes. And they're the metal ones with a good gasket are actually submergible and waterproof. Um, but this one I've used for years, and it has served me well. I just haven't had a whole lot of cigars in there lately, so you know I haven't paid as much attention to it. Yeah, um, it's just another option to look into. They stack fairly well. You can generally find them anywhere. Five to fifteen dollars, you know, surplus market online, local gun store, gun show, whatever. Depending, again, depending on where you at, but they are findable, and they may not be the same shape, but they work well. Some might be longer, thinner, deeper, wider. You get the point. It's just another option to consider for alternate storage. All right, and Thank you get a very positive lock when you seal it, and it has a handle on it so you can carry it. I'm sure some of them don't have handles there, right? No, I mean most of them are designed to be carried so okay. you've got, I mean you don't want to have this big heavy bulky box full of ammunition you've got to, that you know, ain't a good way to carry it besides picking it up so you, most of them have a handle on top. Okay. Just some countries are designed to carry two at once. Germany, I'm looking at you. Mm -hmm. um, the Some of the Russian ones are a little funky but they still work. Just make sure 
you got a good seal, and you clean the Cosmoline out. Just, don't skip the clean the Cosmoline step. Ever. All right, All right. Turn it back over to the man. All right. Now, one of the things that we've we talked about storing these alternate storage methods for your cigars, whether they're converted, whether they're basically just straight out with a humidifier pack added. All of these are very similar to what the travel herfa doors tend towards smaller capacity, fulfill the same function, have a few better design bits for storing cigars. We've talked about this before, but briefly go over it. Herfa doors typically foam lined, have a humidification device in here, and as aforementioned, gotta check that seal, guys. If you don't seal, the deal well, is for not. yeah you're just wasting your time and money um but yeah these are herfa doors or the waterproof cases either local manufacturer knockoff name brand converted watertight cases ammo cans or whatever it does the job take your pick all right so we're back with the wrap up on the Alternate storage suggestions for cigars. Maybe you don't want to use an ammo can, but maybe you've got a airtight, watertight storage container you want to use instead. Go for it. One thing I would suggest, like he was just saying, clean it very well as soon as you get it. Before you put cigars in it, before you put humidification in it, just clean it out thoroughly. Because whatever's in there will be imparted on the cigars as they're stored. I personally don't store cigars for longer than a month or two before I smoke them. I know I go through a lot of cigars. I buy like 80 a or 20 a month and go through them for, the, for the, the cigar channel. And I never store many for longer than that. So none of these have got Spanish cedar in them. They just don't. I can put some in there. You can buy Spanish cedar. You can buy cigars that have a little wrap of Spanish cedar around them. It just depends on what you're into and what you like. Personally. I don't have a preference for having it or not having it. It doesn't matter to me. So I'm sure somebody's gonna say, oh, well, this container doesn't have Spanish cedar around. Is it okay? It's perfectly okay for short term. The next point that I wanna make is do not put this in a fridge or a refrigerator. Those are designed to remove the humidity from an environment. So you don't want your cigars to get in an environment like that. You also don't want them to be frozen. You don't want them to be that cold. They're supposed to stay around 70% humidity. 70 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm not sure what that is in Celsius, but you can convert it yourself. So that's all we've got for this video. If you use a storage tub like we do, like the video, send us a comment. Send us what, send us what, what you use to store your cigars. If you have any questions, please ask us. I will try to answer them as best as I can. I've only been using these for a couple weeks now, but I like them so far. So if y'all enjoyed the video, like I said, put a like at the bottom of the screen. Send us any questions you got. Subscribe to us if you haven't already. Check us out on Facebook. Y'all stay smoky out here.